Hey, so I'm taking some time to figure out what Antics is doing with their terminal and their file managers. Now, I notice in their wiki, they list Space FM and Rocks Filer as their file managers. But if I go to look at Space FM, the project management page, uh, it looks, I mean, it's a nice page. The only problem is the dates for these things, uh, it doesn't look like anything's been done with Space FM in a long time history. Um, <clears throat> All the dates are like 2015 and before here. Installation, downloads, um, GitHub releases. Let's look. There aren't any releases. If I go to the code, then um, seven years ago, four years ago, nine years ago, just looking at what's being done for Space FM, it doesn't look like it's really and anything's being done with it. So um, then I went to uh, Rock's file manager and looked at that. Let me see if I can find, and I, there were some articles on it. Rocks Terminal, uh, Real H, whoever that is, I saw 10 months ago, two months ago uh, for Debian. Um, some of it's on a similar time frame to Space FM, but there's quite a bit that's more recent, three years ago, two years ago. So at least some work appears, uh, it's written mostly in C. Uh, like most of them are, um, that work is actually being done on Rock's term. So I would actually favor Rock's term over Space FM just because it's being worked on. I also looked at file managers and terminals in Puppy Linux just to get an idea of things with a small footprint. And I saw that there was nothing about Rock's terminal there. But when I went to file managers, I saw that um, uh, let me see. When I went to file managers, I saw that Rock's filer was the default in most puppy Linux versions. So that explains, it must have a small footprint and explains why um, Ant Antics would favor, A-N-T-I-X, would favor Rocks Filer as well. And if you have Rocks Filer, why not Rocks Terminal which seems to have is being maintained by somebody at least. And uh, that has a small footprint. So that actually makes some sense to me. So I was looking around and I also found JUN7 under Rocks Filer. And I saw that uh, seven days ago, some stuff was being done on it. So, uh, I mean, there's some goes way back 17 years ago. And that's also based on C, mostly. Um, but, you know, uh, seven, you know, uh, three years ago, um, four years ago, and there's, you know, I didn't really look more into this, but I see somebody is 
actually maintaining it. So that's nice. Um, although, again, it doesn't look like too many people are working on this. It would be nice if there were more people doing this. But uh, now I looked around a little bit more and I saw at opensource.com there was a little discussion of Rock's desktop. So I thought, okay, um, what now they don't use the Rock's desktop, but um, Rock's filer and Rock's term are being used. So let me read this article to you, written by Seth Kenlin uh, from Team Red Hat, December 16th. 2019. The Rocks desktop is no longer being actively developed, but its legacy resounds today. And even when it was active, it was a unique take on what a Linux desktop could be. While other desktops felt roughly similar to old Unix or Windows interfaces, Rocks belong solidly, solidly in the BEOS, Omega OS, and RISC OS desktop camps. To be honest, uh, if I remember correctly, Amigas were not considered so hot back uh, when I remember talking about those. It focuses on drag and drop actions, which makes its accessibility non optimal for some users. Point and click actions. Uh, on Ant Exit, single click, by the way, pop up contextual menus and a unique system of app directories for running local applications with no installation required. Installing Rocks, ROX. Today, Rocks is mostly abandoned and left in fragments that a user is left to sort out. All right, that doesn't sound very good. Luckily, the puzzle is relatively easy to solve. But don't get confused when you find bits and pieces of the Rocks desktop in your distribution's repository, but not every bit of the Rocks desktop. The popular parts of Rocks, the file manager, Rocks Filer. Let's see what that has on Rocks Filer. I see, that's at SourceForge. And the terminal, rocks term. That's at SourceForge. Seem to have endured in most of the popular distribution repositories. And you can install and use them as standalone applications. However, to run the rocks desktop, you must also install Rocks Session and the libraries it depends on. Um, and they do not use Rocks Desktop. They just use the Rocks Filer and Rocks Term, I believe, in Ant X. I install, uh, um, default is IceWM for uh, Antix. So I installed Rocks on Slackware 14.2 but it should work on any Linux or BSD system. Okay, and that's interesting. First, you must install Rocks Lib2 from its repository, true to its philosophy of minimal installs. Now, the philosophy of minimal install goes along with Puppy Linux and Antix. All you have to do to install Rocks Lib2 is download the tarball, unarchive it, and move the rocks lib directory to user local lib. Next, you have to install rocks session. That's at SourceForge. This probably needs to be compiled from source code, as it's not likely to be in your software repository. The compile process requires build tools, which ship by default on Slackware, but are often omitted in other distributions to save space on the initial download. The names of the packages you must install to build from source code vary depending on your distro. So refer to the documentation for specifics. 
For example, on Debian-based distributions, you can learn about the build requirements in Debian's wiki. And on Fedora-based distributions, refer, refer to Fedora's docs. Once you have the build tools installed, execute the custom rock session build script. That's dot forward slash app run. This manages its own build and installation. All right, and if you have not installed Rocks Filer, I'm going to skip a little bit. Rocks Filer from your software repository, do that before continuing. Together, these components create a complete Rocks desktop. To log into your desktop, log out of your current desktop session. By default, your session manager, KDM, GDM, Light DM, or XDM. Uh, DM probably desktop manager, depending on your setup, will continue to log you into your previous desktop. So you must override that before logging in. Let's see, there's no taskbar as such, but when you minimize a window, uh, so not really interested. Um, I'm trying to focus on antics. So uh, I want to focus on things that relate to that, not the Rocks desktop. All right, let me just read the end here, why you should try Rocks desktop. Getting Rocks set up and usable is somewhat difficult, and it appears to truly be abandoned. But we saw that Rocks, the Rocks filer and Rocks term are both being supported by somebody. However, its legacy lives on in many ways today, and it's a fascinating and fun bit of Linux history. It may not become your primary desktop, but if you're looking for a fun trip back in time, then Rox is well worth a go. Explore it, customize it, and see what clever ideas it contains. There may yet be hidden gems that the open source community can benefit from. So in conclusion, it looks like the filing system and terminal are being maintained by at least one person. And Puppy Linux uses Rocks Filer, which should tell you that it has a fairly small and probably fast footprint. And uh, it wouldn't be illogical to think that the Rocks terminal would be fairly compact and quick as well. So um, that's, uh, for me, that's my introduction. And this is pretty much all I really know about those things. Thank you for listening.